save for comedians who have the job to make us laugh at both their shows and most times their normal lives, finding a really funny regular celebrity is not so easy, such that when they're out in functions, they most times have rehearsed speeches that are not embarrassing. They walk in such a manner that would be quite hard for them to fall. However, there are a few of these celebrities that do whatever they freaking like, and be it from falling on stairs or saying something hilarious without a thought on how it affects their image. Amongst these people, without a doubt, we can say that Jennifer Lawrence takes the lead. Jennifer Lawrence is no stranger to our screen, and it's common knowledge that fans adore this idol for her roles in movies such as Hunger Games and Winter's Bone. While this is very much true, it's also known that amongst actors who would go a mile to give a fan a good laugh rolling on the floor, Jennifer Lawrence tops that list, both on screen and even off screen. But before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the alarm icon so you can see on your screen to turn on our post notifications so you get notified once we drop our timely videos. Now, on to what we have for you today. Number one, her top-notch impersonation of fellow celebrities, Cher. Do you believe in love after love? We know for a fact that Jennifer Lawrence's ballad in Mockingjay has always been regarded as powerful. But alas, Lawrence has a very big fear. She told Conan at San Diego's Comic-Con in 2015 that singing for an audience is one of her all-time biggest fears. The viral sensation appeared alongside fellow Hunger Games castmates at the San Diego Comic-Con and begrudgingly, she decided to share one of her special skills, her share impersonation. Getting a little encouragement from the crowd, Lawrence proceeded to sing her favorite share classic, Believe, and best believe it was J. Law-y as ever with all of her quirky antics. Naturally, she wasn't going to oblige the audience without making the awesome Laurencian observation to O'Brien that the version of The Hanging Tree only went to number one on the charts because it was part of the Hunger Games franchise. Quote, okay, first of all, if I had gone <laughs> Hunger Games, like, it would have reached number one, end quote. Number two, who asks for a blanket on a live show? Oh, thank you. Good Lord, what is oh, that? thank you so much. Thanks, Pat. Oh, my God. If you're a celebrity on a late night show, you probably wouldn't request a blanket, even if you were wearing a short skirt and top, but not Jennifer Lawrence. Normal be damned, as she was handed a bright pink blanket after remarking that she was cold. The Hunger Games Catching Fire star promptly snuggled up under the blanket, and Letterman, the host of The Late Show with David Letterman, then got up from behind his desk and huddled under with the then 23-year-old star. One would think that this would make J-Law feel shy in some way, but if she was, she didn't show it as she and Letterman proceeded to make jokes about the situation. Quote, Good night, everybody, Letterman told the audience. Oh, I wish they'd go away. I wish they'd go away. Don't you? They can't see us now. Go away, Lawrence laughed. Go away, everybody, said Letterman. I wonder if they're gone. Are they gone? I hope they're gone. I don't know if they're gone, but the rumors are going to start, Lawrence joked. She told the host that she was, quote, so tired and not without reason as she's been promoting both Catching Fire and her other upcoming film, American Hustle, at the same time. Definitely, the audience present could have been shocked and later laughed at this moment. Number three, a face stuffed with marshmallows. Do you have to swallow them? <laughs> That's what she said. She'd once taken the title of sexiest woman in the world. And seriously, she deserves it because have you met her? But Jennifer Lawrence on MTV News on Thursday, October 1st of 2015, just had to show the world the other side to her kooky character when she stuffed 10 marshmallows into her mouth and then spat them out into a bowl. The Hunger Games actress joined in a forest with co-stars Josh Hutcherson and Liam Hemsworth for the last in a series of appearances on After Hours with Josh Horowitz. Horowitz decided that his guests had to take part in a game of truth or dare to make their final camping session truly memorable. They all picked truth. So he asked them, quote, what's your most annoying habit? Lawrence was quick to respond, and after telling on her co-stars on their most annoying habits, she revealed that hers was that she doesn't wash her hands after going to the bathroom. A gross habit that no one should admit to, but it was funny to see her talk so honestly. But that wasn't all. While others didn't want to play Horowitz's marshmallow game, Lawrence proceeded to stuff her face full of marshmallows, as she declared that she could get at least eight into her mouth. She managed to get more than that into her mouth, 
and then spat it into a bowl with drool attached to the marshmallows and everything. Gross. Number four, a not so pleasant date. And I was like 16 and I was like chugging this icy. Still on the show, after the mortifying experience that she had with the marshmallows, Law proceeds to tell a story of one failed date that she had. Quote, that really reminds me of a date when I was 16 and I was chugging this over, which are like 90% air, and then I buried, she said giggling at the memory, and then it all reacted in my stomach and all this foam was coming out of my mouth, she added. I just took the top off the cup and all this foam was just pouring out of me and then my date looked at me and I was like just waving at my date crazily. So anyway, that reminds me of dating. I don't know I'm a single, she quipped. Such a mortifying experience and she pulled it off as a joke. She is one badass woman. Number five, her fan meet with Bill Murray. I saw Bill Murray once and I was like, I can't even get started. I can't talk to you. Anyone obsessed with Jennifer Lawrence knows the star is equally obsessed with Bill Murray. In 2012, while promoting Silver Linings Playbook, the actress recounted that she once spotted the 69-year-old Murray at a Critics' Choice Awards function, but was too nervous to approach him. Quote, I just started staring at him awkwardly as I'll continue to do every time I see him at these functions, she told the New York Times. He's gonna start asking if that creepy girl is gonna be there again, staring at me. She also once showed a Vanity Fair reporter a photo that she had stored on her phone, depicting a $5 bill with Murray's face on it. Quote, once I'm obsessed with somebody, she told Vanity Fair, I'm terrified of them instantly. Well, she definitely got over the fears, as in 2015, while in town for the San Diego Comic Con, the actress finally met Murray, who was there to promote this forthcoming movie, Rock the Casbah. The actress, who was headed toward her own panel for The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2, ran into the former Ghostbuster. And she was all mouth opened, eyes widened, and hand pointing after finally being face to face with Bill. Number 6. The Million Dollar Answer If without room for doubt you are actually a Jennifer Lawrence stan, you would not be unfamiliar with the movie Hunger Games, which she co-starred with Liam Hemsworth as the character's Katniss Everdeen. From Mockingjay to Catching Fire, we see the feisty Katniss getting the odds to be in her favor, becoming a substitute for her younger sister and overcoming every trial. It's also pretty normal for celebrity actors to be asked specific questions about the characters they play, such as their likeness to the character, what they feel the characters should have done, the catharsis point of the character, and such. What this means is that the actors are indeed familiar with these types of questions, and as such, they can answer them before being asked, which I believe most of them do, seeing as they sometimes drop stereotypical answers. However, when a reporter asked Jennifer Lawrence what she has in common with her character Katniss Everdeen, her reply came out to be shockingly hilarious. Her response, he might ask, she said in plain terms, quote, we look alike, end quote. Like how? What could have made her think about this? Though we do not know this, her words gave us quite the laugh. Number seven, even stars get starstruck. <laughs> when normal people get their star stricken, it's normal. But when it comes to stars getting star stricken, people raise an eyebrow. And this is because, well, it's just not normal. It's the cause of this absurdity that a lot of people found the encounter hilarious. Jennifer Lawrence has quite a list of celebrities that she idolizes, and a couple of times that she's met with some of them, she's made sure to create a scene. And this time again, she made sure to make it memorable for both the star and the fans. Her encounter with John Stamos, aka Uncle Jesse, is one of these times. The duo were at a party, and in the party, we see from reports how star-stricken Lawrence got. On her comment about this encounter, she said, quote, I turned into a perverted guy. I was like following him in a room, staring at his ass. I lost my mind, Lawrence continued. I didn't want to meet him because it's not good when I meet people who I idolize. I was avoiding him and then my friends brought him over because my friends are jerks. And I just started freaking out and he asked me if I had any mushrooms. I was like, no, I'm dead sober. This is just me, end quote. Number eight, things that taste better than skinny fields. I can name a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes better than skinny feels. Award shows come with all the fuss it can get, with celebrities trying to look more glamorous than they usually do. But perhaps some celebrities do not care. Although Lawrence did not end up winning for her role in Winter's Bone in 2011, she made it to the award circuit rounds for her nominations. And
and in an interview she had with Entertainment Tonight's Nancy O'Dell, she had a thing or two to say. After the compliment that she gave Lawrence on her fit figure, Lawrence reiterated her feelings about skinny women in Hollywood. She said, quote, That feels great, because I just ate a Philly cheesesteak and I was kind of worried about it, Lawrence said. I think that people are built the way that they're built. There's that Kate Moss quote that's like, Nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. And I can name a lot of things that taste better than skinny feels. Bread, potatoes, a Philly cheesesteak and fries, end quote. For this, she just might have become someone's hero especially somebody who lives in Philadelphia. Number 9. Celebrities get scared too Well, this just shows that even celebrities get scared too. Or perhaps it's just another way to bring smiles to fans' lips. Lawrence got interviewed on the red carpet during the premiere of The Hunger Games Catching Fire. And once again, the Katniss Everdeen cast showed us that she doesn't take most things seriously. After the reporter questioned her about the set and what it was like with people she worked with, her reply was the usual dry humor. She said, quote, Everyone's mean, the usual. However, she doesn't just stop there. She continued by saying, quote, Liam Hemsworth was the most mean. Uh, shit, he's behind me. His brother is Thor, end quote. And number 10, jack of all trades, minus dancing. A lot of people expect that celebrities are perfect, all around professionals at everything. We see this trend and high standing expected from artists who are expected to write their songs, sing their lyrics, and be able to at least produce them and have a high level of proficiency at dancing. This is almost the same case for actors also. Well, Jennifer Lawrence has not been one to follow the norm. When asked about her non-existent dancing skills, this is what she had to say, quote, I'm a horrible dancer. I'm like a dad at prom. I look like Gumby getting electrocuted, end quote. And that rounds out our video for 10 times that Jennifer Lawrence did something funny. Are you surprised by anything she's done? Probably not. I mean, again, it is J-Law. Please leave us a comment below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit that bell notification so you know the moment we have more of these awesome videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.